If you love burgers and fries, then stick around. I'm gonna show you a whole food plant-based version that is absolutely delicious. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow the Start Solution. The Start Solution was a program developed by Dr. John McDougall and he wrote a book called The Start Solution. In it, he details this wonderful way of eating that is a starch-centered diet to help you lose weight and get healthy. If you want some more information, I'll leave a link to his book in the description box below. On my channel, you will find whole food plant-based recipes that are quick and easy. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. You can also follow me on Instagram at ChewOnVegan. If you're new to this way of eating or just curious, or maybe you've been doing it a while and you just need some more support, I started a Facebook group. We're a group of like-minded people where you can go and get inspiration, recipes, and support. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a black bean burger and fries, but there's gonna be a little twist on both. So let's get started. So for these black bean burgers, the twist is I'm gonna be adding golden beets to them. So it's really a golden beet black bean burger. Golden beets have more potassium than a banana. So they're a great food to incorporate into salads or into a recipe like this. And they're gonna add another depth of flavor. This recipe was inspired by Veggies Don't Bite and I have tweaked it a little bit to make it my own. Now this recipe has a few more ingredients than what I normally use, but it is so worth it. This burger is amazing. And everything is gonna be going into the food processor. Great news, I wasn't recording, so now I'm gonna have to just tell you what I did. So my ingredients were onion, barbecue sauce, liquid smoke, maple syrup, black beans, brown rice, and some spices. The complete list will be in the description box and instructions. If you don't have brown rice, you can use white rice. And then we just threw everything in, except for the roasted corn, and we just pulsed it and then you want to get a consistency that looks like this. You don't want it to be mush, but you want it to be able to hold together. So depending on your food processor, you will pulse this as many times as you need to get to this consistency. Once you get it to this consistency, you're going to add in the corn and then just pulse it a few times because you want the corn to pretty much stay intact. Okay, let's make these burgers. So I'm gonna be using my Bella Griddle to make my burgers. It's a really good non-stick. You want a really good non-stick pan because we're not using any oil, of course. And the reason why I'm using golden beets is because I've seen recipes with red beets and it just looks too much like meat for me. It grosses me out. I just can't do it. Um, I love red beets, just like roasted red beets, but in a burger when it's all mushed up, no, it just grosses me out and I can't do it. So that's why I prefer the golden beet. So let's get these on the griddle. Okay, so I started putting these on the griddle and I've got my griddle heating up to about 375 and you just want to form your burgers just like how you would form any burger. And they will cook. These are not made for the barbecue. They're too fragile, so that's not gonna work. So I'm just gonna continue making the rest of my burgers. So I just flipped them over. It's just a few minutes on each side, and I got six good-sized burgers and then a smaller one. So six to seven burgers. All right, let's get started on those fries. So for our fries, I'm gonna be using mashed potatoes. This is something, to confession, I have not done this before, so this should be interesting but I saw this on a video with Potato Wisdom and she just made mashed potatoes. I've still got the skins on and everything. Had a little salt, garlic powder in there and then pack it into a container and then refrigerate it. And let's see if it'll come out. I'm scared. Okay. There we go. Oh. Okay, it worked. Okay, then you just cut it. Ugh, this is scary. And cut it into fry shapes. 
and then you gently put them in your air fryer basket. So far, so good. All right, I'm gonna finish this up, then you do it at 400 for 10 minutes. As promised, I'm going to be answering questions that came from the Facebook group. And I have another one for today, so while the fries are cooking, sorry you're going to hear the air fryer in the background, I'm going to answer another question. And this is a really good question, so I'm just going to read it right off my paper here. When first starting the start solution, how did you handle cravings? I have a really bad sweet tooth and sometimes find myself stuffing my face with some sort of junk food before I even realize what I'm doing. I can totally relate to that because I have a sweet tooth. I still have a sweet tooth. So this is how I handle that because if I do not take care of my sweet tooth, then I will just start stuffing my face with stuff. So I'd rather just get that little sweetness and then I'm good, okay? So I do a few things. Um, I will eat a medjool date. Very sweet, tastes like caramel. I'll eat one, maybe two, that is it. And the, they're very sweet and they, that usually does the trick. Or I will have a couple squares of some dark chocolate that also will take care of my sweet tooth. And if I really feel like I'm gonna go out of control or something, then I will have a cup of like peach tea and I'll just put a little bit of um, monk fruit in there so it's sweet and just have that with maybe a little piece of chocolate and then of course fruit too if, unless I'm having a super uber uh, craving you know like I need chocolate or something um, I, uh, an envy apple will also do the trick because they're so sweet so any super sweet fruit will help you with that um, but yeah, it's really important that you keep that in check because it can be a trigger. I know for me it's a trigger, so I just have to be very mindful of what I'm doing and I say, okay, I'm going to eat one medjool date and one square of chocolate and that's it. And then if I'm still craving something, then I'll have that cup of tea. But then that's it. And it doesn't happen every day, you know, but um, I do know in the beginning more so than now. But I still have a sweet tooth and I don't know if that helped you, but that's how I handle it. So these fries look amazing. And I just made a equal parts of maple syrup and mustard, just like a honey mustard kind of a sauce. And then I have a gluten-free bun here. This is how I'm gonna build mine. What I like to do is I like to take the top of the bun and cut it in half. So it's like really like a half a bun. Um, if you wanted to make this more of a traditional 50-50, then what you could do is put your burger on top of a big salad and have your fries on the side. But sometimes you just want a burger. And so I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna switch this up here. I'm gonna put my lettuce on the, uh, excuse me, my spinach on the bottom, but you could use lettuce. I mean, you could do lettuce, tomato, onion, whatever. I'm just keeping it super simple. And I just spilled my barbecue sauce. And then I like to add a little barbecue sauce on the top and call it good. And there is our black bean with golden beet burger and mashed potato fries. I can't wait to try these. Let's taste these right now. Okay, let's give this a taste. These fries look amazing. And first I'm gonna dip them in my honey mustard. Mmm. Absolutely perfect. They're crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. They go great with this honey mustard. Mmm. Why have I not tried these before? These are definitely going in my rotation. Okay, let's try the burger. I'm gonna have to set this down. And remember, I just cut that, the top of the bun to make the bottom, so I only have like a half a bun. And this is a gluten-free bun. And my beautiful burger, so delicious. Just put it on a little bit of lettuce. Just kept it really simple. Here we go. Mmm. That will definitely satisfy your burger cravings. So when you want burgers and fries, you can do it and you can do it healthy. No oil 
and this dish is totally gluten free. So if you have problems with gluten, this will be perfect for you. So I hope you give this one a try. And remember that all my recipes are good for you. They're good for the animals and they're good for the planet. And what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you. If you love, nope. If you love, mmm. If you love burgers and fries, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you a beautiful, nope. No. And if you're new to this way of eating or just curious, curious, curiouser and curiouser burger, but I'm going to, no.